All right, so by now you've probably seen this video of me making a giant mural of Meep. And you might be wondering how in the world have we actually done this? Okay, so to explain how we ended up here, we need to start on Discord. So this started back on February 4th, uh, when I proposed this challenge saying, anyone have an idea of how to turn a picture into pixel art of wallpaper? And this right here sparked the interest of many modders within our community. And eventually we worked through the details of how we wanted this to actually work. So I wanted to have like a small little 50 by 50 pixel art right here, which then would turn into me. So that's how we'd end up with this back here. However, to get to this was not as straightforward as it might seem. Ultimately, I threw them a couple of blueprint mods right here so that they could figure out what colors were available uh, for wallpaper colors. So we're actually using mods on top of mods in order to make this thing work here. And to my absolute amazement here, we had our very first concept art from Aki over here, which really kind of summed up the idea quite nicely. And then about three hours later, boom, we had something like this from Hexicube. And not only that, it was wrapped up inside of this sweet little tool here. So all I have to do now is come on over here, choose a file. So in this case, I'm going to pick this picture right here, Meep disapproves. And then I hit preview result and it's going to choose from all the available elements that we can use as wallpaper here and boom, <laughs> it spit out Franken Meep. So obviously working with the tool here to select the correct materials to get us somewhere close is a good first step. So by clicking export here, I end up with a blueprints file that I can then use on the blueprints mod in order to import to the game. So yes, I put the challenge out at three o'clock and by seven o'clock, we actually had a working tool. How insane is that? Y'all are way too fast. Now that gives us a great start here. Now let me show you actually using it here on a couple different pictures because there's a few things that I have found that kind of makes the mural look a little bit better. All right, so I have the tool open. So now I'm just going to choose the file I want. I've got Meep Pixel Art at 50. So I'm going to go ahead and load that in here. We should see it over here on the left once it loads up. There we are. Hello, Meep. For the scale, I'm just gonna do one to one. And there's our result. Ooh, I don't know if I like those colors, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so now I'm going to hit export and it's going to export as a blueprint. So now jumping inside of my oxygen not included folder, I'm going to go into blueprints and put that inside of there. Now that I'm back inside of the game, I can go ahead and use the blueprint here. If I needed to, I could actually press left shift to reload the blueprints. So if I've done this out of the game, I can still come back to it. And what I'm looking for is Meep. There we are. What's up, Meep? Paste that down and boom, we've got some pixel art. All right, so Meep right now kind of looks like a zombie. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this up. We've got some salt tiles. I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. Oh no. Part of Meep has melted. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that makes me think a couple of these aren't going to work here. What do we have? Carbon dioxide? Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> I'm also going to deselect neutronium because I don't have that. Probably deselect hydrogen. That too would be really hard to, to actually have. Hmm. Insulation, that's okay. Sulfur, no. Ice. Maybe not the best option. Oxygen, probably not the best option. <laughs> glass is okay, we can go with glass. Salt is an interesting thing to use for wall tiles. I didn't, I'd, I've never thought of that. You can see it actually does a pretty good job over here. Look at that. All right, so now when I hit preview result, it looked a little different. Hmm, what if I get rid of clay? Oh, no, me! If I get rid of sandstone. Hey, there we go. We're, we're heading in the right direction here. Get rid of sand. If I get rid of clay. All right, so I've gone through the list here and kind of modified the materials to stuff I actually have and the stuff that won't melt. So let's see what happens when we export that. Oops, not what I wanted. Preview. Okay, it's better. Okay, you know what? I think if I put this over space tiles, it'll actually look a little bit better. There we go, because I get a nice accurate view of it. All right, so what I'm going to do here now that I have this original, I'm going to kind of clean up the edges here and try to fill back in the darker tiles with solid black and kind of simplify the image a little bit. Hmm, that's actually gonna take a ton of effort. Maybe if I just make the image more contrasty before I try to put it through the system. Let's see what happens then. Okay, so what I've done here is just crank up the contrast. So now let's see what I get. Okay, that's a little bit, I can work with that. Pretty much this area here is just gonna be 
white. The rest of this is just the same color. Maybe I would just run the curves a little bit. So we do this number. Oh no, me. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, what if we just reduce the levels here? You to you. Because really, I'm only worried about the black here. This is one color. The teeth are another color. Maybe I even go in here and just kind of, you know, paint this one pixel by one pixel. Quick. Maybe I do this number. That color. And I want a bucket. All right, cool. And then I want this color with the bucket. Okay, so now we're just simplifying it. This is good stuff. Okay. I want a pinkish color. Whoops. I want a pinkish color, and that's just going to be here. I never get to use the bucket tool. This is cool. Maybe I don't do those two spots. Those are okay. Give them some pearly whites. There you go, meep. Okay, now let's just finish out the skin tone here. There's some spots where it's a little bit lighter. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I'm just getting rid of all of these little tiles. Really just simplifying this. <laughs> the eyes might still give me some issues, but you know what? I think it'll be okay. Let's give this a try. Oh, <laughs> so close. I really do need to get rid of this extra color here because that just makes him start to look like a zombie. Poor guy. It's all right, at least I know what I'm doing now. No, yeah, don't do that one. <laughs> you know what, me? This is why only a two-tone printer would love you. <laughs> because literally only a two-tone printer would work. All right, I think we're getting somewhere here. Dun, 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 dun. Open that up, hit preview. Aha! Yes! This is awesome! Now just deconstruct this real quick. Yes! Just a few more! Ha! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> Meep! We've made a mural of you! All right, let's paste this down over some other tiles just to see how it looks real quick. Hey, you know what? Not bad. Not bad. I can roll with that. What if we put it over some tiles right down here in the hot biome? Nice. Okay, let's see if we can do the same thing here for the gassy moo. I'm going to first go to l uh, levels here, try to bring down the top levels. That might brighten some things up, but what I really want to do is bring these lows up so that we can pretty much just make some of that stuff a little bit closer. There we go. Try to keep this like that, but at the same time also brighten it up a little bit. There we go. Kind of crushing that just a bit. The shade up here is going to be an issue. Just go ahead and try to make everything that color just from the get-go. All right, let me go ahead and select all of this real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to crop the image down to this, and then we're going to scale the image down to something that I can actually use inside the game. Image, crop to selection. You can see that this is still 100 and some by, uh, by nearly 100, so... We need to scale this down to something usable, like 50 by 50. Uh, which might be too small. What? This looks so cool as the asteroids fall past it. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm just going around the edge here and kind of painting this into a complete black. That way we can kind of border it. All right, so I am going to have to go in here and just do a little bit of paint brushing. So that right there is just going to have to be that color, that color. We're going to have to just try to clean up some of this. Okay, so I've had to, like, really simplify this. It's taken a fair bit of effort to make it happen, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. Sort of drawing this one pixel by one pixel at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's a very simplified image. But you know what? I think it'll work out. Okay, let's preview the results. Okay, not bad. Uh, I was kind of hoping that all of this would be made out of glass or something. Something a little bit closer odd that it isn't but it's also odd that it picked it up right there so that makes me think maybe i got to do something in this spot so what did i not do oh uh, okay if you let things be just a little bit shaded they tend to i don't know kind of do that number to you so there we go get rid of that get rid of that and then, okay <laughs> no what is it about this spot <sighs> All right, so this is the original Gassy Moo. We're going to see what this looks like. Yeah, see, it kind of has some issues, but at the same time, it does actually work. So it's not too bad. Now the very simplified version. Here we go. Ah, so close. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have to go with it. What happened? Why, why does everything have an update? Meep. No, my mods are breaking. I didn't do anything. 
Uh oh, oxygen not included update. Boom! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Every time I restart the game, there's another thing I've downloaded. Oh! Jeez, this is. this is something else. <gasps> nope. Okay, so. There's no way. Okay, what is still on fire? Wait a minute. Is this thing for real? Is it actually running? Did all of those mods work? Hello, giant check mark. Why are you here? <laughs> well, how you doing, Gassy Moo? <laughs> this is what I was after. <laughs> You're doing just fine, aren't you? Oh, yeah, this is starting to look pretty good here. I think the only thing I want to do in the middle is replace that with something a little bit better, like diamond. Okay, never mind, that is diamond. <laughs> I guess I need plastic. Okay, fine, glass. Let's go with glass. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, this is gonna take forever, but I'm just gonna go through here and clean all of this up and replace it with glass. Yes! This is awesome! <laughs> Beautiful! Oh no! Can I save the game at least, please? <laughs> so isn't that tool cool? We used it in the super modded playthrough of Oxygen Not Included to make a big old mural of Meep. Not only that, I also tried this sort of thing down here, which is to create a representation of every available color that we had available to us. And then I used those wallpaper colors to make my next Tetris pieces that I'm currently using in my current playthrough of Oxygen Not Included. Pretty neat. All right, so there we have it. A nice tool to not only make sweet murals like this, but also a way to kind of make Tetris pieces. So a big thanks to Hexacube and all the other modders that were involved in this little project here, and also Nafi for directing me to the correct tool to kind of pick out the Tetris pieces. I think this is going to be absolutely awesome. In case you guys were curious, that is how it is done. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar.